What's up guys, I'm Chirag and I hope you are finding my tutorials useful. So today I'm here to start a new tutorial series on how to deploy a Flask application on EC2 instance with Docker or using Docker. Right, so this series will cover the deployment of Flask application with Nginx using Docker or we are going to deploy the uh, containerized Flask application on an EC2 instance at the end of this tutorial series, right? So welcome to part one of tutorial series on deploying Flask application on EC2 instance with Docker. So in this tutorial, I will take you through setting up a new instance for Docker, right? So assuming that you are on the EC2 management console, right? So from here, we are going to launch a fresh instance or a new instance, right? So once you are here, click on launch instance, select the first option that is launch instance. Now here, uh, we are going to select Ubuntu as Amazon machine image. So that is Ubuntu server 18.04 LTS select. Now within instance type, I'm going to select T2 micro uh, free tier, right? And then click on configure instance details. Uh, we are going to leave it as it is. Then click on add storage. I will increase the storage to 15 GB probably. Then next tags, I will add a name tag saying Docker Flask. Then security groups. So I will create a new security group over here saying Docker Flask. And within description, I will copy and paste tutorial. Uh, I'm not going to add uh, another rule. How uh, we will add as and when required, right? So right now, only port 22 is open. And then finally click on review and launch and launch the instance, select your key pair value. So I have this flask key pair value. So I'm going to check this box and I will say launch instance. Now the instance is being launched. So basically uh, the details of launching the server or doing SSH or logging into the instance are covered in the tutorial series that is deploying Flask application on EC2 instance, right? So the link is in the video description. So now the instance is in running straight and we have the public IP. So I'm going to log in over here. So copy this public IP. I'll do ls. I have this flask.pem clear so i will say ssh hyphen i flash dot pem you want to at the rate oops by mistake i pressed enter so you want to at the rate domain name or the public ip address so copy paste Uh -oh, we have at the right over here. Yes. And now we are logged in into this EC2 instance, right? So the very first command to run on a freshly launched instance is sudo apt get update. Now the execution is completed, right? Now let's check if we have Docker over here. So I will say Docker, it says uh, command Docker not found. Or if I say Docker compose, it says Docker compose not found, right? So uh, we are going to install 
Docker Compose directly, right? So while we install Docker Compose, it's going to also install docker.io and all its dependency, right? So we will not go by installing docker.io and then Docker Compose, right? So I will simply say sudo apt get install docker compose yes so it will take a while to get installed so basically within this tutorial series uh, we are going to create two containers basically one for flask application and another for nginx web server right and both the container uh, will be communicating internally right so the request probably will come to the nginx server or the nginx container right or the container in which nginx is running and that uh, nginx will communicate with the another container uh, which is running the flask application right so that's how uh, the flow is basically so the docker compose is installed successfully so now we can check uh, docker so we have all the commands or the help functions right and if i say docker compose and then we have relevant command over here too right so well uh, that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we will write the docker file for the flask application right and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time